Have you ever wondered why grocery store produce tastes flavorless? And have you wondered how to maximize flavor in your garden? Well, it comes down to six key nutrients. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over what the six are and actually reference some studies that specifically looked at crops you grow in your garden and how they use those nutrients to tweak the flavor. The first one is nitrogen, oddly enough. And you are gonna hear me in 2023 just beating this into your guys' head. A surplus of nitrogen is bad. I don't care if it's synthetic or compost. My number one goal is to reduce the amount of compost you guys are adding to your garden because it's important. For the flavor of the food and for your soil and the environment, everyone included. Nitrogen is what gives the plant its intensity of flavor, its sweetness, if you will. If you add too much nitrogen, you end up with an influx of amino acids. This influx of amino acids gives that fruit and vegetable a watered down taste. Now on the other token of this, if we don't have enough nitrogen, we aren't able to supply enough sugars, which ultimately will reduce the sweetness. So one study that looked at it, this was done and they were specifically looking at apples, but this also applies to things like tomatoes and that really flavorful tasting tomato that you get. If you have excess nitrogen, it will give you a watered down flavor and that's ultimately something that you do not want. This is why when you buy tomatoes or you buy apples from the store, they taste less intense now. It's because we've added way too much nitrogen to our soil. So back it up. I promise you, your flavor will be better. So phosphorus is another one that enhances sweetness in particular. The study that we're looking at today was actually used on strawberries. The phosphorus being in balance was key here. So in part of the study, they didn't add any phosphorus in soils that did not need it. Meaning majority of North America, as long as it's not under intense agricultural production. This lack of phosphorus addition, if you will, allowed for strawberries to become very, very sweet. So definitely something to keep in mind. Who likes flavor and aroma? I know I do. And potassium is the way that you get it. Again, potassium being balanced and in line is key here. And the study that we looked at in this case was tomatoes. Tomatoes for their aroma and their flavor. This was caused by terpenes and flavonoids. And I know the cannabis people are watching right now. And yes, this applies to you as well. Terpenes are the volatile compounds that actually contribute to the smell of the plant. The aroma, if you will. Flavonoids are pigmented compounds that affect the color as well as the flavor. And the way to maximize this is through adequate and proper, proper amounts of potassium. The next one is calcium. Now you're probably thinking, well, duh, it helps with the blossom end rot. But actually, the calcium helps with bitterness. Have you ever had bitter lettuce? Well, it's because the plant wasn't able to get adequate calcium. Now, if you're growing in North America, it's very unlikely that the soil doesn't have enough calcium. Probably does. It's probably your pH that is the issue. So I would start with pH, getting the pH lined up into that six to seven range, and you'll have lettuce that is not bitter any longer. So calcium is for bitterness. And if you're growing peppers, it turns out magnesium actually may be the key. Magnesium is big on flavonoids. And in the study I looked at, it actually helped with the flavor of a bell pepper. So again, making sure that magnesium is in check is important here. And also that your pH is in line because again, very unlikely you're low in magnesium and the likelihood is actually that your soil pH is not in its proper form. So go with that first. Arguably my favorite is sulfur. So sulfur, if you ever look at a package, it says MPK and there's a fourth number. That fourth number is sulfur. That's how important sulfur is to brassicae species as well as alliums. It's what gives them that intense flavor and that intense smell. Turns out sulfur helps with sulfur containing compounds called glucosinolates. This means these are responsible for that smell and that taste we all love. So with that being said, I encourage you to test your soil, not to send it away. You don't have to send it away to a lab. I encourage you just to get one of those rapi test kits. I will leave a link for the one that I use down below and that will be good enough. <laughs> don't have to do this in any intense fashion. You're just gardening. It's not that big of a deal. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you test your soil and if you knew that nutrients actually affects the flavor of your fruits and veg. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.